I chose Immaculate Conception Seminary School of Theology for my graduate studies because I needed to grow in knowledge of the faith for the job that I had. I was working in campus ministry. And out of all the schools that I looked at, Immaculate Conception Seminary School of Theology was strong in Catholic teaching and very true to the church. As a scripture scholar, or as a scripture student here at Immaculate Conception Seminary, one of the verses that really stuck with me through the years is from Paul's letter to the Colossians. And he says, let the word of Christ, as rich as it is, dwell in your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. Then here is a place that's really allowed me to go deeper in my studies of the word of God, which is, as St. Paul will also say, alive and active. And that has borne fruit in many aspects of my life. I was very impressed with both the breadth and the depth of all of the professors who I uh, took classes with. And I can say that every single professor taught me things that really enriched my faith. I feel um, my studies here have prepared me and that I have more resources and more support. Um, I also feel like the face of the church and the seminary uh, makes me realize that I have a greater responsibility at the parish level. My experience with making friends with fellow lay students and seminarians has been excellent. The structure of the courses here allowed me to um, move at my own pace and to balance the demands of uh, my home life and of my own spiritual development and growth. I work for a Catholic radio in New Jersey and when I first enrolled at Immaculate Conception Seminary School of Theology I never thought I would be on Catholic radio but now that God has led me that way and I'm on Catholic radio I see the importance of knowing more about the faith and obtaining my master's degree in theology. As academic dean, I'm responsible for the correct teaching of, the, of every program that goes on at St. Paul's, both of our outreach to those who have left the church, those who find God not relevant in their life, and those who have drifted away. And also I'm responsible for training of those faithful Catholics that they can have the ability to articulate the beauty of our faith in a way that's joyful, enthusiastic, and full of hope. And so my teaching here and my, my studies here at Immaculate Conception Seminary have really enabled me and empowered me to go forth with confidence to bring the good news of Jesus to all people. During the first year I was here, uh, for the first time uh, an opportunity came up for summer classes in Rome. And so I was one of the first three lay students to sign up for that. Being there and experiencing Rome through the eyes of faith is an entirely different uh, experience praying at the tombs of St. Peter and St. Paul, uh, as well as the, the many, many, many other martyrs in the different churches and basilicas of Rome. It's such an overwhelming experience that our faith is so palpable you can almost feel it and touch it in Rome. And that led directly into my focusing and concentrating on church history. I've never regretted studying at the School of Theology, and I feel like that degree in theology and systematic theology prepared me to be a better campus minister, to be a better department chair in theology, and then subsequently to pursue a master's in education in Catholic school leadership. I would highly recommend Immaculate Conception Seminary School of Theology for the care, comfort, and joy of the heart, mind, and soul.